Guys, check out my new favorite channel. It is so good. Oh my god. Look at it. What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial. The last one of this week. And in this video, we're going to do something really, really cool. And I'm smiling because I had to think of the intro. That was something I just had to do because in this video, we're going to see how to make any clip, you know, or how to take any character out of any video and turn that into a green screen kind of, you know, just that it's going to be transparent. So if you are excited for this tutorial, Make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and I would say I'll catch you guys obviously right after the intro. Okay, so right now we're on Vegas Pro 16 and right here I have the clip of a man and what we're going to do is we're going to make this guy look like it's, you know, he's standing in front of a green screen. So what we're going to do first of all is see how long the video is and that is probably, I assume, about, I don't know, 15 seconds maybe, like 13 seconds. So what we need to do now is decide like it won't, if we want to use the entire clip or just a bit of it. So I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of this clip just to keep this video relatively short because otherwise this video would be 15 minutes and this is something I can show you guys in like five or six minutes. So what I need to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this guy down until it is about, I don't know, maybe like three seconds long. So then what we need to do is mask this guy out frame by frame. So I'm just gonna click on the event pan crop icon and we need to pick mask at the very bottom pick the anchor creation tool this one mask out this man completely and then what we need to do is move up frames and then i'm just going to show you guys exactly how it works so let me mask out this guy real quick This man is now fully masked out and what we need to do now is basically move up frame by frame and mask him out again because we're not tracking anything so we cannot do this automatically you know with the future in Vegas 16 where you can actually like automatically add all those keyframes that does it for you. It's not going to work in this case because there's nothing to track just move up frames until he moves. So I'm just going to click on the next frame button and then I'm just going to go ahead and see where he is actually moving. Okay, I think I'm kind of lucky because this man is standing like very still. So if I play this back, there's not too much to mask. If you look at the top left on his head, you will see that if he moves, it kind of shows that little edge. So that's something we have to obviously adjust. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this box a little bit smaller so you guys also can see and make sure to just hold my left control and adjust these keyframes. That's basically how I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna move up a few keyframes until the edge is showing again. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're gonna play it back. And I think these clips look very, very, very nice. Obviously, if I, you know, around this part, as you can see on the top of his head, there's a little bit of edges coming through, but if you just spend, I don't know, like 10 more minutes on this, it would look actually perfect, but so you guys know how it works. So what we need to do now is we need to just add in a green part of the video or just a green screen in general. So I'm gonna hit the media generator tab and we're gonna scroll down until we see solid color and it doesn't necessarily have to be green it can be anything as long as it is just a nice even color so we can just pick red but just green is the obvious color for green screen and masking and everything like that so if I drag it in and if I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this down this is basically what it looks like and now you can have this man transparent on any video it is that simple the only thing you need to do now is just render out this guy and then you can just add in the chroma key and then this man will be transparent and this works for any other clip guys doesn't really matter which one it is okay so I'm gonna probably get questions about how to actually remove the green as well so I'm gonna show you guys that on top of it so I'm gonna go ahead and render this out completely and then I'll come back to you in a second when this finished rendering okay so in the video has finished rendering and I just dragged in a thumbnail of a video of mine so I can show you guys how it works so so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we'll place the green screen clip on top of the video so then we're gonna hit the event effects button we're gonna scroll down until we see the chroma key then we're gonna pick the default one just drag that on top of the clip what you need to do then is uncheck it for a second then you want to pick this color bar then you want to pick this icon and then we're gonna pick a green part of the video so then what we need to do is 
just go ahead and recheck it. And as you guys can see, the guy is transparent and that's how simple it is. You can obviously mess around with it, like the low threshold and the high threshold, you know, to optimize it and to get rid of any edges or anything like that. So guys, if I play it back, this is what it looks like. It is that simple. The man is moving. This is how you take any video and turn that into a green screen or how to, you know, mask out the object or the person in it. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for the continued support. I will see you guys on Monday with brand new videos as usual. So I'll see you guys next week. Are you looking for some awesome effects? Get access to thousands of exclusive premium effects, free effects as well with their super affordable pro memberships. Click the link in the description. on guys my name is alex welcome back to a brand new vegas 16 tutorial and in this video we're gonna go ahead and recreate this awesome eye zoom transition that's been used in one of the music videos of xxx tentacion so because of you know copyright you know issues and everything i cannot show the original one because yeah that's just a copyrighted music video so we're gonna recreate this today so what we need for this is basically two things an image of our ourselves without a background as you can see and obviously a clip that's gonna you know fade and come into our eye so make sure to go ahead and subscribe if you're new smash the like button down below and i would say let's get started so this is just the image of what we have and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make our zoom first into our eye we're gonna hit the event pan crop icon and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with keyframes because we're not gonna zoom in all of a sudden but just you know real slow so what we're gonna do is first of all we're going to create a keyframe which is right here then we're going to just go ahead and zoom in just a little bit like that onto her face so let's play it back as you can see like that that looks really really nice it's a little bit too slow so we're going to move this keyframe a little bit more to the beginning like that so let's play it back as you can see this is just zooming like that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand on this keyframe with our cursor then we're gonna go up and move for example two frames then we're gonna hit another keyframe and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in into our eye like that and what we're gonna do is we're gonna also tilt this guy for example a full circle then we're gonna place it on our eye and we're gonna zoom in until we just zoomed in onto our eyeball onto the black part of your eye so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this guy right here and let's play it back we're gonna zoom in first and then we're gonna zoom in as you can see to her eye. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new video track and we're going to import the footage which is this clip that we're gonna make appear in her eye. So what we need to do is first we're gonna place it over it like that then we're gonna lower the opacity so we can see through this like that so when it's finished zooming into my eye like that as you can see we need to create a circle in the footage because that's going to make it pop up from our eyes. So what we're going to do then, click on the event pan crop icon. Then we're going to go ahead and hit mask at the very bottom. And then we're going to hit this guy, the oval or circle mask creation tool. And we're going to just create a circle in the middle like that. But then, as you can see, we need a little bit more of a fade around the edges right here. So then we're going to hit feather type and we're going to put that one to both. And then we're going to bring the feather percentage. We're going to bring that up, as you can see, until we have like a nice fade on the edges like that, as you can see. So when we play it back, this is how it goes into our eye. And then we obviously need to make a nice fade in like that. And then we need to only make this circle bigger. So we're going to create a keyframe right here. 
And then we're going to also go ahead and make this mask a little bit bigger like that. Then we're going to create a keyframe right here. Click on there, make it even bigger like that. Create a keyframe like that, make it just a little bigger as well. And if I play it back, as you can see, this is what it looks like. So that is how to do it guys. This is how you create that awesome eye transition zoom in Vegas Pro 16 that XXX Tentacion also used in his music videos. So that's it. Thank you so much for the continued support. I will catch you guys in a brand new video on Wednesday because I'm going to take tomorrow off just to work on Wednesday's video as well because it has to be, you know, better and better every time. You guys know the drill. So if you like this video, make sure to drop a like down below, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys obviously on Wednesday. <laughs>